Hello, I'm Kelly with fitnessblender.com and today I have a lower body strength and cardio workout for you. I've included both your warm up and your cool down and all you need for this routine is an optional set of dumbbells. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, for a warm up, we're doing 30 seconds of each interval for a total of five minutes. If you feel like you need more of a warm up than that, go ahead and do a few minutes more of light activity. Otherwise, we're starting off with a boxer shuffle, so just kind of shifting weight between those two feet. You can even do this without your feet leaving the ground if you like. And I'll show you low impact modifications all the way through. So all the way through. I encourage you to make these exercises more or less difficult as they serve you and your strength and energy levels today. So listen to your body and never be too big to make a modification, okay? So on either direction. So next up we're doing a high knee pull. So we're standing nice and strong, pulling that knee up, just alternating with a nice strong pull down from both of those arms just to get the heart rate up and those muscles warm. So throughout the intervals, feel free to pick up your pace as you start to feel more warm. Okay, next up we're doing a standing jackknife. So arms both up again, we're bringing those feet up to meet those arms in the middle. Remember that these exercises might look different on you. Maybe you're just kicking your foot a little lower. If you have tight hamstrings, that's totally fine. All right, next up, we're gonna be doing side lunges. So setting those feet nice and wide and from one side and then the other. So we're unloaded here, but we're doing a lot of these exercises later with weight. So. It's really important to get the form down even without weight. Nice flat back, putting that weight into that side that you're leaning towards. Pulling your core. All right, next up we're gonna drop down to the ground and we're gonna be doing an alternating supine lift. So right here, just kind of reclined a little bit, lift that leg up and then switch. If you wanna make it harder, just let these feet hover so they're never relaxing on the ground. You get in some core work that way too. Otherwise, especially since we're just in the warm up, feel free to put that foot down on the floor, raise it up nice and strong, that straight leg, until you're parallel with the bent leg, and then back down. So next up, we're gonna do a bridge. So shoulders down, pressing up through the heels, Hover on the ground before you press back up. So as you can tell, this is a pretty fast paced warm up here. So if you would like to move a little slower or if you're feeling like you're falling behind with the timer, don't worry about it. It's just a loose guide. All right, next up, we're going to be doing alternating leg lifts. So popping up right here, starting Nice and strong, and back down. Just switch sides. Make sure you're not arching your back, you're just using those glute muscles to drive up, straight up, back behind your body, extend that leg. All right, so for the next interval, we're staying right here, and this time we're adding arms in for a bird dog. So. Now we're getting that whole body warmed up. So in just about 10 seconds, we're gonna pop up and do some squats. Just a couple more intervals till we'll round out this super speedy little warm up and get into our strength and cardio mix. So right here, again, proper form matters, even with a warm up. So feet about shoulder width apart, you're sinking back into those, like you're hinging at the hips. Uh, stick your butt out behind you, press through those heels on the way back up. Again, with that flat back, watch where your eyes are going, where that extension of your neck, rather than round down at yourself, bring it up. 
So you have a nice neutral spine. All right, next up, I'm gonna be doing some jumping jacks. So your low impact option is right here. Feel free to pick up the pace or even add in a squat if you like. Otherwise, move as quickly as you can. Stay light on your feet. Ten seconds left. There's five, two, and one. All right, so that's our warm up already. Grab your dumbbells if you have them, and we'll move on to our strength and cardio section. All right, so this bored easily strength workout is going to use 45 second active intervals with 15 seconds of rest. So we're starting off with a deadlift. I'm gonna be using 20 pounds per hand, uh, so 40 pounds total, but pick a weight that challenges you, and even if you're rocking your own body weight today, know that it counts. So whatever you can do, just do your best. So you're keeping a nice flat back and those weights close to those legs. Inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up. Just move at your own pace. Try to pick a weight that challenges you. You want to be feeling it by the end of each of these intervals. About 10 seconds left. Get out a couple more strong repetitions. All right, next up, we have a little burst of cardio. Cardio that targets the lower body. So we're gonna be doing lateral jumps. This can be as difficult or as light as you need it to be. But what you wanna really focus on is pushing off from each side. Uh, so we're gonna be working those outsides of those hips and thighs. So otherwise, try to jump the same amount on each side. If you want that low impact option, just stay low and tap back and forth. You can even come here and tap. So make it as easy or as difficult as you need. Make these things work for you. Keep going. You got about 15 seconds left. You can stop and take a break at any time, but just try to squeeze a couple more seconds out of yourself. Just try to push your limits a little bit. Move more quickly if you can. Jump further if you can. Two and one. All right, so next up, we're going back to strength sets and we're gonna be doing squats this time. I'm picking uh, 16 pounds per hand, so 32 pounds total. And this is where it gets interesting because we're doing those cardio intervals in between the strength. It's gonna make this a total sweat fest. So going down, back again, nice and flat. Hinge at the hips. Stick your butt out behind you. And press up through those heels. Inhale on the way down. Exhale as you press back up. Three, two, and one. All right, so we've earned ourselves a very quick water break. Grab a little sip of water and we'll jump right back in. All right, we're jumping right back in. Same structure. This time I'm gonna be using uh, one 12 pound weight. We're gonna be doing reverse lunges. So you can do this with a weight in each hand or one weight held right at your chest. It's up to you. Otherwise you're stepping back and behind your body. Oh, I'm nice and strong. Keep your torso relatively upright. And the further you step back and behind your body, the more balance it requires so you're working your glutes here, but you're also working your core. Your whole body has to pitch in for movements like this one. So it's multitasking at its finest. Just like with the other exercises, inhale during the easy part, exhale as you press back through. So in this case, inhale on the way down, exhale as you stand back up. All right, 
next up, we're gonna be doing a monster walk. So if you have bands, feel free to add them around your ankles or knees. Otherwise, just hold onto the weight and mimic the same motion. If you don't have any space, just feel free to sink into a squat and tap back and forth. So you can go here, just like that, if you're working in a small area. Otherwise, you can kind of start to cover some distance if you've got space for it, front and back. Otherwise, focus on keeping that, those eyes up, your back flat. And, uh, I'm actually in limited space today, so I'm gonna do this. If you need to, feel free to take a break before you sink back down. Just don't hold your breath. 10 seconds left. Two and one. All right, next up, we're gonna be doing a stagger stance deadlift. So you can also do a single leg deadlift. It's up to you. I have a really hard time balancing in this white room. <laughs> um, but this is an interesting way to do it that's pretty functional. It mimics a lot of motions we do in everyday life. So one foot in front of the other. Inhale the way down. Exhale as you come back up. So keep that core pulled in. Again, your back nice and flat. How many times do we pick something off the floor like this? And it's these little motions that when we don't practice them in a controlled, mindful environment, it's really easy to get injured. Just like bending down to pick up a kid's toy or a piece of paper off the floor. So that's why we work out. <laughs> is to feel good and to lessen our likelihood of injury as we make our way through the world, right? Among many other reasons, but... So, switch which leg is ahead of you this time. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth, and here we go. So, again, with that lead leg, getting over right in front of those toes and back up. Fifteen seconds left. Let those weights hang directly under those shoulder joints. All right. So next up, we're doing a jump squat combo. Though you are more than welcome to do jump squats the whole way through. Forty-five seconds. I dare you. Um, just listen to your body and don't be afraid to take breaks where you need them. Otherwise, we can do a combination. Here's a jump, a basic jump, sorry, basic squat, plus a squ jump squat. <laughs> there goes my words. <laughs> so you can alternate back and forth like this since it is a long interval. Otherwise, like I said, feel free to push all the way through or at least until you can't anymore. Otherwise, don't stop moving, just go to that regular squat. Five seconds left, let's burn it out. Go for it, oh my gosh. Whew, okay, next up, we have side lunges. So, I'm gonna use, um, actually I'm just gonna use one weight here, hold it in my chest, I'm gonna use 12 pounds. Whew, because those cardio intervals are gassing me, which is okay. That's part of the point. Again, back nice and flat, really sitting into that side that you're leaning to. See if you can get your breath back under control during the strength interval. In through the nose out through the mouth, slow it down. Five, almost done. All right, 
right, so next up, actually I'm gonna stay with this weight. We're gonna go into a squat, move to the side, and then step out of our squat. There's a couple different ways you can do it. Some which helps isolate your side. So into a squat, up this way, and if you can, come up on one leg. Back down into your squat, steps to the side, and up on one leg. So coming up on that one side is a good way to build single leg strength. And it's kind of supported because we have that other foot on the ground most of the time. Just starting into that. Five seconds left. Oh, okay, next up, we have a wide deadlift. So, I'm gonna use a total of 40 pounds again this time. I don't know about you guys, if you're following along, but I am dripping sweat. All right, so nice wide stance this time, but all the regular rules of a nice clean deadlift. Don't let your shoulders or spine collapse forward. Your whole body needs to be able to handle the weight. So even if your legs can handle a heavier weight, if the rest of your body can't, that means you shouldn't go to that weight quite yet. So. This targets a different set of muscles than those other two deadbell or deadlift variations. Three, two, and one. All right. So next up, I'm gonna drop down to the ground or if you have a bench, you can do a thrust. I'm working with no other equipment today. So a bridge it is. I'm gonna put my weight right here and pressing up through those heels, nice and strong. Kind of hold it at the top there for a minute. Just enjoy that muscle burn. Press up through those heels. Just feel this in your glutes and a little bit in your hamstrings or the backs of your thighs. All right, so next up, I'm gonna do a couple burnout moves to target those same muscles we just hit. And I think I have a sweat imprint of my whole body here now, which is lovely. So we're gonna be doing a bent leg raise plus an objection. So here, this looks like a combination move, staying on the same, time, same side. First, poke a hole in the ceiling, bring it back down for a hip abduction. Keep going, smooth transition between those two exercises. Try to keep your body facing down the whole time so that you make sure that you're using the right muscles. Also make sure that you're keeping your back nice and neutral so instead of, you should not be doing this. So keep your back in a healthy alignment as you complete those reps. So I'm just gonna work right through my rest interval here. Otherwise, Get ready, get set up on that other side, same combination. So we're poking through the ceiling first, back down for hip abduction. Again, keep your body, your whole body facing the floor. Keep a slight bend in those elbows so that your upper body isn't slacking either. About 10 seconds left. All 
right, so this is supposed to be the last interval, but I'm contemplating putting a couple of strength intervals or strength reps on the end here. So we'll see how this goes. We're doing a frogger. So legs bent, feet pressed together. Take a nice deep breath. We're lifting those feet. Press those feet together as you lift off the ground. If this feels like a funny range of motion to you, feel free to just do uh, leg lifts. It's a similar, similar motion if this feels uncomfortable. Alright, so that was supposed to be the end of the routine, but I'm thinking maybe, maybe another set of weighted squats, how about, at least. Just a nice traditional extra bite of strength, right? So again, I'm going for, I'm just dripping over here. I'm going for 16 pounds per hand, so 32 pounds total. So if you're still with me, pop those weights up there. Take a nice deep breath. All right, here we go. Sink back into those heels. Press up through those heels. Inhale on the way down. Exhale as you press back up. Make sure that your toes and knees are in alignment. It's less important that your toes go, don't go over, sorry, your knees don't go over your toes than it is to keep your knees in line with your toes in terms of what direction they're pointing. Oh. All right, I'm gonna just focus on the last few reps here. Try to get a couple more out of yourself. Oh. All right, so I'm thinking let's do the same thing with deadlifts, right? If you're still with me, I'm gonna do another round this time, uh, 40 pounds total again this time. So in through the nose, out through the mouth. That's great for use um, during stressful situations too, by the way. <laughs> just a little tip for the back pocket, right? Okay, so just as long as our form is still looking good. If you start to suffer in form, then we know we're done. Otherwise, try to get a nice muscle burn here. Like I said, if your form starts to suffer, just call it quits. Come at it another day. It's not worth risking injury. All right, let's get a few more reps here if we can. And there we go. All right, so how do you feel about a few uh, surprise jump squats? <laughs> let's do it. Two exhaust, just until you feel tapped out. So again, in through the nose, night nice deep breath, out through the mouth. When you're ready, start it up. Keep going if you can. That's it for me. Maybe one more baby squat. There we go. All right, so I hope that you enjoy that little burnout round. Otherwise, all we have left is our well-earned cool down and stretch.
All right, moving into our cool down stretch, we're gonna do each of these for 30 seconds, but just like with the warm up, if you feel like you need more cool down or stretches, be sure to treat yourself to that. So we're gonna start off with a toe touch. So just reaching for your toes, stretching out the backs of those thighs. You can, while you're here, move from side to side, change up the stretch a little bit, treat yourself to some nice deep breaths while we're here. And take your hands behind your back and let them hang overhead to deepen that stretch and get a little upper body movement in there as well. All right, next up we're going to stretch the front of our thighs. So right here, if you need something to hold on to, go ahead and grab it. Otherwise, just pulling up gently that foot towards the butt so you get a nice stretch through those quads. So because we targeted our lower body today, go ahead and switch sides. You're gonna to wanna to give your legs, at your, which is you know your calves, your glutes, and your thighs, you're gonna to wanna to give them at least a day or two until you either aren't sore at all or your soreness is almost gone in order to give those muscles a chance to recoup and heal themselves and come back stronger. And that's a great time to focus on your upper body muscles, right? So next up, we're gonna be doing a hip flexor stretch. So one foot behind your body and kind of a stagger stance here and then tilt, tilt forward a little bit so you get a nice stretch through the hip flexor right in the front of the thigh of that leg that is back behind you. So while you're here, again, just like we did when we were trying to slow our breathing down during the workout, feel free to treat yourself to deep breaths while you're doing this cool down and stretch. We'll get back to the rat race of life in like five more minutes. It can wait. So try to keep your thoughts peaceful and the stress outside of your brain for now. Switch sides. Again, if you want to deepen that stretch, just kind of tilt in the hips a little bit there. You can put your arm over your head and lean away. That should deepen that stretch and bring it up through the torso as well. All right, next up we're gonna do a side stretch or an IT band stretch. So leaning, put one foot behind the body and then further lean into that stretch. So you should feel all down your upper body, down your side and even down the side of that leg. If you try to keep your foot all the way on the ground, keep your heel of that back foot down, you can even get a little calf stretch out of this. All right, switch sides. All right, about 10 seconds left and we're gonna walk down nice and slow and do a few repetitions of cat to cow. All right, so kind of folding forward, take your time. It's kind of a hidden stretch in there. But once you're ready, drop down to all fours and arch up. And exhale in the opposite direction. Inhale up. All right, next up we're gonna flop over for a deep glute stretch. So folding that leg over and pulling in so you feel a stretch through, through those glutes. You can rock back and forth a little bit, kind of rotating those hips, changes the stretch a little bit. You might find something that feels nice to you today. All right, switch sides. So we're gonna wanna drink a lot of water after this. Don't chug it, but you know, steady sipping really <laughs> throughout the day. Um, and definitely treat yourself to either a hefty snack 
or a full-blown meal soon after you finish this workout to help replenish the carbohydrates we just blew through so we can think clearly through the day and make wise decisions for ourselves and not try to be operating under a state of deprivation or hunger. All right, so next up, what are we doing? Torso rotation, so feet on the ground, just going back and forth, just kind of alternating back and forth here. Rotating, try to keep those shoulders on the ground so all the movement is coming through your torso. But just enjoy a couple seconds in each position before you rotate to the other side. And we have just one more feel good stretch here after this. All right, so stretching in opposite, lay, opposite direction here, feet and legs, kind of inch from one side, feel that nice side stretch, treat yourself to the same on the other. Nice deep breath, and exhale, and relax. All right, so let's do that one more time. So take a deep breath in as you're stretching away from yourself. And exhale, relax. All right. My phone has died, which is perfect timing because that was our very last stretch. So I guess things worked out today for the best. But like I said, if you want any more stretching, if any muscle group in your body is begging or aching for a stretch, treat yourself to that. Um, extra stretching is always a good thing. So otherwise, like I said, make sure to drink lots of water. Make sure to nourish yourself with the, something that tastes good and something that's also going to make you feel good. Otherwise, thank you so much for working out with me. Good job, guys. Workout complete.